Hiya, this is your buddy Marty, and as you can see, it's uh, it's still kind of snowbound up here in Wisconsin. Yep, yep, we had snow last week, and it looks like we may have more snow next week, and by golly, by golly, it just uh, seems like snow is a theme. We're getting ready to enter into the month of March now, and we're doing it in grand style. We have a full moon on February 28th, and then the following day, it's March 1st. Yep, yep, it's March 1st. Many of you folks are aware of the fact that uh, March is a special time here in the uh, 100-acre wood, because by golly, a lot of folks drop by right around the 16th of the month and uh, help me celebrate my birthday. So that's going to be the big event for mid-month here in uh, Wisconsin, is all these folks coming from all over the place, bringing, you know, a few nuts by and dropping them off and uh, having around a good cheer. So this is a a particularly happy and exciting month for me. As you might notice, uh, I've got my good friend uh, Jack here uh, beside me. That's uh, Jack Rabbit. Um, well, he's not really a jackrabbit, but he's actually a hare. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> um, his name's Jack. He's Jack the hare, but uh, kind of a rabbit too, so it's all kind of uh, mingled into the same thing there, but uh, by golly, by golly, he's a March hare. A lot of people are not fully up to speed as to what, you know, happens with March hares this time of year, but it's uh, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. You know, Alice there from uh, Alice in Wonderland, she was heard to say the March hare will be much more interesting, and perhaps, as this is May, it won't be raving mad. At least not so mad as it was in March. Well, you know, Jack here and uh, and his buddies, they do get a little bit goofy, but that's primarily because after spending four months in a hole in the ground covered with snow, you get a little bit stir-crazy there. It's been a long held view that the hare uh, behaves strangely and excitedly throughout its breeding season, which is the month of March, but extends actually over several months beyond March, and uh, this odd behavior includes boxing at other hares, jumping vertically for seemingly no reason, and generally displaying abnormal behavior. Well, a lot of us here uh, just figure it's cabin fever, and, you know, rabbits are a little bit uh, high-strung, so by, by golly, they they have to act out a little bit. Yep, yep, by golly, they act out a little bit. Mark Edmund Jones, who was uh, kind of the uh, the grandfather, I guess you could say, of uh, astrology here in America, it was also a mystic, and he developed a whole series of themes that he wrote about over the course of his life, and one of his favorite things was Alice in Wonderland, and the metaphysical aspects of Alice in Wonderland, and what the whole story really meant from a metaphysical perspective. So, if you're uh, interested in pursuing that, uh, you want to look up Mark Edmund Jones, and uh, there's uh, a whole series of treaties he wrote called The Studies in Alice. And by golly, it'd be a pretty good thing to do because, uh, you know, that movie's coming out with Johnny Depp there sometime this month, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yep, yep, by golly, we got Johnny Depp and all kinds of interesting folks there showing up to um, to give us a little overview of what Alice is all about. Of course, that gets us back to um, the March Hare, and we're just uh, hoping that uh, March is gonna kind of mellow out here. We'll be able to uh, get everything on track as we move further into the month. There's gonna be a new moon mid-month, and in addition to that, we're gonna be seeing um, Mars go direct in Leo uh, as zero degrees of Leo, by golly, yep, yep, at zero degrees of Leo, Mars is going to go direct on the 10th of March, and a lot of things have been kind of stagnant here in uh, the greater world around us, is going to start to shift forward, and we're going to see opportunities come up that weren't there before, and we're going to start seeing events in our lives speed up, so by golly, I think that's going to be a pretty good thing mid-March, when uh, when we all get energized by that activity of Mars in heaven. There are a lot of other things uh, that are happening in March, we have, of course, uh, the vernal equinox, and that's on the 20th, and that's all about an equal amount of daylight, and an equal amount of nighttime, so that's why they call it an equinox, yep, yep, it's uh, equal amounts, equal amounts of day and night right there. Um, so on that uh, magical note, we'll be uh, moving grandly forward into spring. And of course, spring is when the flowers start popping up from the ground. You know, when uh, we can get past having to thaw our nuts before, we, uh, before we're consuming them here in the 100 uh, acre wood. Because pretty much everything right now is frozen over. Yep, yep, by golly, it's frozen over. So anyway, this is, uh, you know, a little bit of an update. Uh, things are getting uh, better and better. And I think we're going to see a very positive shift forward as we move into spring this year. And of course, Jupiter's still hanging out there in uh, Pisces, bringing all kinds of good things to folks that have been um, somewhat neglected, perhaps, by the universe over the last few months or the last few years. So it's pretty optimistic here. We're looking forward to spring. We're looking forward to, to getting away from uh, these snow banks and, uh, you know, having to dig around to uh, reclaim our, our uh, sources of uh, nutrition from uh, under those piles of snow. Yep, yep. Of course, it's going to be my birthday and all those other folks who uh, are Pisces. And uh, then we'll move into Aries. And it's just going to be a pretty grand time. So this is your buddy Marty. And I'm wishing you all the best from the 100 Acre Wood. And watch out for the March Hare because, uh, you know, they'll be zipping across the road in front of you. So you won't have to be dodging squirrels as much as you'll be dodging rabbits there. So keep your eyes open and we'll be talking to you soon.